So crypto markets have started correcting. I think uh, Bitcoin is around 10k. Uh, the peak was 13,700. So, uh, and I think total market cap is about 270 billion. Let me check that. Uh, 290 billion, um, 10,300 for Bitcoin, 230 for Ethereum, and 300 for Bitcoin Cash. Um, but uh, the trend line, uh, Trollo, on Trollo's uh, trend line is now at 300 billion, 295 billion. So we just reached uh, undervaluation again. We went to about 30% overvaluation, uh, and we're coming from minus 50% undervaluation compared to the trend line in December 2018 but since then we went up to 30% overvaluation when it topped out uh, that was for Bitcoin cash also at uh, 500 US dollars and Ethereum I'm not sure uh, was it 300 let me check yes uh, 360 dollars was the top for Ethereum and 13,700 for Bitcoin and for Bitcoin cash 510 dollars um, so we, we already had uh, a correction, uh, we're now at 10,300 for Bitcoin, but I think this is just the start. Uh, but, but what's interesting is that uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin Cash have corrected a lot already, so I'm suspecting that my guess or my, my prediction is wrong, that uh, ALS will correct less. Uh, than Bitcoin during this uh, crash to at least test the bottom uh, for Bitcoin. Um, uh, I think that what we're seeing here is that actually alt correct even more again, huh? and uh, and that's not good news. Huh? So so I'm I'm not um, planning to buy on targets that I set for Bitcoin Cash or for Ethereum. What I am planning to do is to buy on targets that I have set for Bitcoin BTC because when those targets are reached, which I think are most probable, well, we'll have to see where Ethereum and Bitcoin Cash and other alts are because it's so hard to predict, much harder than where Bitcoin will go to. But even where Bitcoin will go to is hard, more difficult to predict than, for example, where the Trullo trend line will go to. I mean, that that's quite certain. Uh, uh, but also like how high like and low under and overvaluation will go is also much more predictable than the exact prices of Bitcoin or, or, or other coins. <clears throat> so my first target here is an, that we reach an undervaluation of 55% uh, for Bitcoin, for, uh, for cryptos, for all cryptos compared to the trend line of Trollolo. Right now we're at 295 billion. <clears throat> In one month it will be 300 billion, and it goes up gradually. But a 55% undervaluation would be a new low. Uh, in this bear market, we only saw a 50% undervaluation in December 2018, and uh, and that uh, and that reached uh, 3,150 dollars for Bitcoin. But uh, right now, if we get a 55% percent uh, undervaluation that, that's very likely to happen um, simply because in all previous bear markets this has happened also even in the bear market of 2011 the first bear market in crypto and that uh, we, we saw uh, new highs or new lows in undervaluation um, during the sideways movement. That means not new lows in fiat, eh, but new lows in undervaluation. Uh, so, um, uh, uh, and so where would that lead us right now? Well, it's about 300 billion, um, uh, the, the, the trend line, uh, the fair valuation of crypto. So we're now at fair valuation, but uh, you deduct 55% and you're about at 140 billion, huh? 130 billion. So that's my target uh, but that's only the case if it happens the next month it could also only happen in six months and we might go back up here and make new highs like uh, we don't know when that's gonna happen but it's likely to happen sooner or later uh, and if it would happen right now or over the next month then we would be I would buy around 130 billion and then it doesn't matter what exact prices or BTC or Ethereum or BCH 
uh, that doesn't matter when we reach that 130 140 billion um, then I will um, buy uh, and in my case probably ethereum so that's uh, in summary uh, what my uh, first buy targets for crypto I wish you all good luck and um, let's hope that uh, we reach that and of course uh, how much will I uh, buy then um, my target is to have a, an, a maximum exposure to crypto of 80% but I only want to reach that if we reach um, a new low, a new low uh, for Bitcoin BTC uh, and, um, and that means below 2000 eh? because once we breach 3050 then, um, then, um, then we will likely go a lot lower and, and so I think chances are high than that we go just below 2000 so 1900 1800 and if we reach that uh, I will buy my last buy which which will be boosting it up to 80 percent uh, exposure for crypto but that means that and I will post the link uh, to the sh updated um, investment plan that uh, I made a sheet uh, below uh, but uh, that means that um, when we reach that first target, um, then uh, I want to be allocated about 60-65%. Uh, so um, currently I'm 35%. Uh, that's because uh, Bitcoin Cash has gone down considerably. Uh, I used to be like at the peak when it was $500, I was about 50%, 48% exposure crypto. Now that has dropped to only 35 but it's also because the other investment I made, Tesla, has gone up a lot, especially since I'm leveraged to X. And that was the other 50% of my portfolio. So if we do reach with crypto um, um, that 130 billion, 140 billion, that means it's going to be cut in half again from here. Anyway, we are around 300 billion. Um, and probably Bitcoin Cash will have corrected even more. Um, that means that my exposure will drop from the current 35 to 20%, but it also depends on my other investments, of course, if they go up or down. Um, but that means that, let's say I'm about 20%, if we reach a target, I will boost my exposure from 20 to 60%, so I will have to sell a lot of my other investment Tesla. And that will be difficult, huh? uh, because maybe the owner investment did a lot better. In the meantime, crypto did very poorly. So it's always difficult to do these things um, because right now it's hard to imagine and we will go so deep again. Huh? Uh, that would be around 4,000, 4,500 for Bitcoin, BTC. People can't imagine that now. But um, on the way down, yeah, you just your, your emotions take over, you become more and more fearful. And, and when we reach that, if we would reach that 4,500 for Bitcoin, uh, many people will be looking downwards, not upwards anymore, eh? and then be focused on the 3,000 level. Uh, and so will I probably. So at that point, buying uh, will be difficult, but that's why uh, I prepare in advance to do that move. And I really think that uh, Ethereum is a very good selection, but I invite you to challenge me. Uh, if there are any other uh, coins that you recommend, please let me know. But also, not just don't let, drop names because that's of no value. Uh, tell me what they are, like why, why, why you think it's a great investment. Uh, and and uh, just some short points that would be uh, appreciated. But um, if it's a small coin, you need to be, have a much stronger case than when it's a big coin. Uh, because uh, I do want to invest only in big coins in this early phase of the bull market. So I prefer big coins at top 10, uh, uh, but that you think I really have overlooked. And, 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 and my sweet spot is adoption. If you have some kind of evidence that they are doing well on the adoption front, then I would love to hear about that. Um, so thanks for watching. Bye.